great job. Growing up in Bergen County, um, we have always been very fortunate and it's always been very important for us to give back. For the twins, B'nai Mitzvah, they have to do a mitzvah project, which involves doing something good, making an impact in somebody's life or doing a good deed. So we contacted our good friend Dave Plotkin, who is the founder of the Max Cure Foundation, and asked him if there was something that they could do to be involved. Dave put us in touch with a family that was in need of financial assistance, and the twins decided that they really wanted to help this little girl, and we decided to come up with ways that we could help and try and make a difference in her life and help her get the treatment that she needs. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Are you following mommy? Elle and I agreed that we wanted to do our Mr. Project together and help a children's charity. There are a lot of different charities to choose from, but we wanted to help Max Cure. There's a little girl that's six years old named Antonia, and she has a brain tumor. I don't even understand what a brain tumor is. What I do know is pediatric cancer is rare and needs funding. For every dollar that gets donated to cancer research, less than three cents gets donated to pediatric cancer. For the last few months, we've been talking to my mom about different ways to raise money. I'm the co-founder of a company called Sticker Beans, which manufactures rhinestone stickers. We've sold over a million stickers, and with Ryan and Elle's help, we decided let's create a sticker for Max Cure. We took the Max Cure logo, which is a line, and we turned it into a sticker bean. We're selling each sticker for five dollars each. If we sell a thousand, we'll make five thousand dollars. If we sell two thousand, we'll raise ten thousand. We would love to sell enough stickers to fund her entire treatment for a whole year. It will take a lot of work, but we'll never stop trying. Fifteen thousand kids are diagnosed with cancer every year. Without immediate treatment, consequences can be devastating. I can't believe we're sitting here in the United States, which has so much money that we can't provide Antonio with treatment. Having worked with the MaxCure Foundation for the past few months has made me realize how fortunate I am. I get up in the morning, get to go to school, come home, go to basketball practice, and then eat dinner and go to bed. Unlike other children who have to spend their days in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you just think that's the funniest thing, don't you? Even though our B'nai Mitzvah was over, we will always be committed to helping kids with pediatric cancer. Since I didn't do a Mitzvah project, I would just like to say how proud I am of uh, Ryan and Ellen and all they have done in their Mitzvah project, along with Kim's help in uh, creating this sticker bean logo with the lion to help this child has really been outstanding and I'm very, very proud of both of you. Hi, it's Dave Plotkin, Chairman of the Max Cure Foundation. I just want to give a special shout out and a thank you to Ryan Spadassini and his sister Elle Spadassini for choosing the Max Cure Foundation for their B'nai Mitzvah project. Can make a difference